it's alive. Good morning, welcome to the vlog, happy Saturday. I have had a very lovely slow morning. I literally just got off the phone to my family and I have checked on my sourdough starter and can you see how much it's grown above the line? This is so exciting, it means it's happy, it means it's thriving and it means we can make some sourdough, probably tomorrow. So I'm gonna feed this and then we will let her continue to grow. Smells insane. So it's taken me far, far too long, but finally last night at the end of yesterday's vlog, I figured out what I want to do with all of the stuff that's still in my gym, my guest room. So the goal for today is to actually clear the guest room. I remembered I have the ottoman under my bed. So I'm gonna put all the boxes in there as in like the, the shoe boxes and the boxes from like camera lenses and things like that that I otherwise don't really know where to put. And then I have a bunch of other things that I am gonna put in the storage that I'm getting built, but obviously it's not built yet. That should also fit under there which should mean that we can clear all of the things that don't have a home into one room and not spread across two which means we then have another fully functional room which will be the guest room not the gym uh, questionable decision but i do want people to be able to come and stay so for me it feels like a priority by the way if you're liking the vlogs now's your chance give it a thumbs up i am still loving daily vlogging so much so we're just gonna carry on until i have a reason to stop so i don't know how long that's going to be but I'm loving every second. So yeah, today is really going to be spent on actual like unboxing housey things. And then I do have some work to do too because I am majorly behind. Just because of the move, it's just kind of put me back at like a few days, which is quite frustrating because I always find it then really, really hard to catch up because I, I am kind of round. <laughs> like all the time, but it's fine. I love working on the weekends because I, well, I mean, I was just about to say I get no emails, but in this time that I've been talking to you, I've had to stop talking and restart three times because my emails are being three times. <laughs> Who's at the office? Go home. I don't have any syrups. Maybe I should just put some cinnamon in it. I want it to taste a bit festive. I'm gonna do some cinnamon and nutmeg so it tastes a bit like a... Uh, oh, maybe I should do vanilla as well. I've only got vanilla extract, not like actual vanilla syrup, but then it tastes like a... Who remembers like the spiced vanilla lattes they did years ago? Let's put a little bit of vanilla in the milk. I needed that. I bet this smells insane. Mm. Also, I was going to say to you, you know yesterday I tried that choco thing, the milkshake thing that I put in the Ninja Creamy and I said it tasted like something. I remember what it tastes like. It tastes like Slim Fast. Who remembers back in the day when their parents would have like Slim Fast and you try a bit and you'd be like, oh, that tastes just a bit weird. Well, that's what it tasted like, chocolate Slim Fast. Oh, this just smells so festive. Mm. I really, 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 really wanted a pan of chocolate this morning, but it's raining, so I can't go out for a walk and get one. And I'm also not going to lie to you, I think it's about 1pm now. Just checked, it's 1.30. So it's not even breakfast time anymore. I might see if I can still order one on delivery because I would just... Can you hear the rain? I would love a pan of chocolate, but I am finding the rain's bothering me much less when I don't actually have to go anywhere, which is good. Normally rain would make me feel so trapped, but I'm like, I guess I'm now trapped in my, uh, in this just house feels like the inside of my mind. One of my friends came over the other day and they were like, they just burst out laughing and they were like, this is literally a representation of what goes on in your head, but in the real world. And I was like, yeah, that's so true. And it is. It's really funny, I feel like I am so set on this house being a projection of me and what goes on in here that it's kind of like subconsciously already become that. And it was just really cool to have someone who knows me literally inside out point that out. Look at this. I mean, obviously this is so relaxing to watch. I might just lay on my sofa under the sky. No, we're going to unpack. I've just taken my trench out of the bag. It came back in. It literally looks perfection. I mean, I've had it scrunched up a little bit. That's not me, but it looks so clean, so fresh. The belt looks amazing. I'm so happy. The only negative is I have to figure out how to tie this at the back again. I mean, I would have untied it if I wanted to do the coat up, but you know what I mean. I have to figure out how to um, make it look like they do in the shop. Okay, let's see if we can lift this bed up without messing up the sheets. Ooh, amazing. I don't know why, but I thought previously there was an actual base under here and not just the floor. 
but maybe I made that up. I don't know. But this is the space we're working with. Do you see now why I think it's going to be great for boxes? Because I feel like it's quite deep, but at the same time, like, I don't want to stack them because they, they get so high so quickly. It's quite a lot of space. I mean, I could put suitcases under here, but then I can stand those up in, like, under the eaves so they actually don't take up too much room. And, oh, that reminds me, I actually need to go to Harrods and get another remote, or I need to get my, like, a medium one so I've got the full set. Well, no, I don't need a remote, but you know, I, I may as well have the full set if I'm gonna get another one so they match. But I need a medium suitcase and I'm actually thinking I might need to go and get that this week. But anyway, this is what we're working with. I definitely think there are some boxes I can get rid of. I definitely don't need to keep them all. So I think what I'll do is bring the ones up here that are obvious that I want to keep them. And then we'll start with those and anything I'm unsure of will make a pile and then I can sort through. Because there are definitely pairs of shoes that I have that I still have the box for that I'm never gonna pass the pair of shoes on whether they're too old now and they just, I won't be able to sell them anyway, or maybe I love them and wear them too much and they're just never gonna leave my collection, you know? Like, I'm pretty sure I still have boxes from like my YSL shoes from like 10 years ago. No one's gonna buy a 10 year old pair of heels. Well, <laughs> and like my Gucci trainers, I'm never gonna sell those. I don't need the box. Someone did ask in a vlog the other day what I'm doing about curtains or blinds or whatever, because obviously I have not much privacy right now. So in my bedroom, it's actually fine. No one can see in because of just how the windows are positioned and like the angles and things. So that's fine. And then everywhere else, I am getting shutters put in. I've had them measured. I'm using a company, well, I, honestly, it took me so long to find a company I wanted to use because obviously like reviews are really important but also I want to use someone that I feel like they're good people and the company that I'm using it's a company owned by a woman and her mum and I just love that like that to me is amazing and she came highly recommended again another huge tick for me and then her reviews are amazing so yeah I had a few people come quote including her and that's who I've gone with. So hopefully, I got the email maybe like two days ago to say that my shutters have been made and they're just being shipped right now. So yeah, the next step is having them fitted. I keep walking between rooms and just looking at the piles and being like, where do I start? So I've come up with a POA, love my plan of actions. I'm going to order myself a pan au chocolat on Deliveroo. And in the time between me ordering the pan au chocolat and the pan au chocolat arriving, which will be a while because it is a Saturday, I am going to have all of the boxes of boxes done. And you know what? Should I need to offer myself a reward in return for doing this? Absolutely not. But am I? Yeah makes it more fun. But no, for real, I think this is gonna make literally the world of difference. I'm also getting to the point now where I'm really excited to have all this sorted so I can get back to real life. I'm looking forward to seeing my friends and having them over. And as much as I've loved having two weekends at home, just doing this, I'm getting itchy feet now. I'm getting a bit of FOMO seeing what all my friends are doing. I'm like, I, I could be doing that. Like one of my friends is at a brunch place today that I really wanna go to. And I was like, I told everyone not to invite me anywhere and I could have been there. <laughs> So, no regrets, productivity, uh, but it's in real life. Okay, where do we start? <laughs> where do we start? Boxes. Okay, boxes. over the moon with that, it looks great. And now I even have room to put things on top and I have this whole bottom section to put other things in. So I think this is going to be a huge, huge solution for me. I also try to put as many boxes in boxes as possible and I think I've actually done quite well. I also didn't order the croissant. I decided to use my own self-motivation. <laughs> I've had one of those days where I seem to just be eating all day. My mum calls them grazing days and I've just had this bread out on the side with my butter, I've got some cheese, I've had some Oh gosh, chili jam with it. And I've just been coming in here and getting some each time I'm hungry. And you know what? It's uh, been really satisfying. Mm. I'm just making a coffee and then we'll go and carry on. But I am making major, major progress. And I also am going to show you the room that I've been purposely not showing you. <laughs> I've had so many questions about my drawing room and being like, do you have a living room? Like what happened to the, the drawing room? I will show you a little later before it gets dark actually. And yeah, just kind of show you where it's at. I've not been going in there because I don't want to think 
think about it. So the situation in here is pretty much that this is where the builder is working from. He's still got things to finish off like snagging, he's finishing off the bathroom, and then he has this room. I think it's pretty much finished, but it's just, this is where he's keeping all his stuff because I didn't want it all over the house. So I was like, look, you have the drawing room and then I'll move into the rest of the house. Even though initially my plan was that I would move all my things into here and then distribute from here, which would have been way easier because it would have taken up one room instead of taking up like three rooms, but it's fine. So yeah, I mean, this is uh, the state of the room right now. It's just got all of his things in. And I mean, it's got all my paints in the corner. I just, yeah. This is, this is what we're working with. This is why I don't come in here. All the floor coverings are still on, but I think it's, this room, yeah, but I'm looking at it. Apart from like his stuff in here, it is done. So it's just a case of he needed somewhere to exist and to work from. And it just made sense that he'd be in this room because obviously I'm gonna be in the kitchen. And yeah, to me, it just made most sense. So this is the situation. Hopefully not for much longer, but this is why I've not been showing you it. Firstly, because I want to stay out of the way just for ease of his life. Life. but also uh it just it's a bit frustrating when i feel like the rest of the house feels like my home and then this room it just feels like so unfamiliar i don't know so i've just yeah been pretending it doesn't exist but i was saying to someone the other day it's gonna feel amazing when i do get in here because it's gonna feel like i have a whole extra room that like i feel like i'm living in the house now and i'm feeling what the house feels like and i have this whole extra room that i haven't even been able to use or consider so that's gonna be really cool i've just opened this box up and i think I think I may have found the bulb for my lamp upstairs. Don't know if there's another one in here, but let's go and see if it fits. Um, wait for it. Yay, I have a lamp. Oh, wonderful. It's gonna be so nice tonight. I need to try and find the other bulb now. There's something in this room that smells like I don't even know what, but it smells really yummy, <laughs> like food. But there's no food in here, so I don't know what it is. I have emptied six boxes, which is amazing, along with two Ikea bags worth of boxes. My next move, I have one of these and I have a bin bag, and I'm just going to try and empty all the bits and bobs. It's the bits and bobs that I'm like, that's just really annoying, like <laughs> retainer bright, needs to go in a bathroom cabinet, don't own a bathroom cabinet yet, that kind of thing. So I have, oh my Lush box. Gosh, what's in there? Oh, very old Lush bath bombs. Wow, that needs cleaning. This Lush box I got gifted for 20 years of Lush. I don't even know how old Lush is now. This is probably like eight years ago. And I've kept it ever since. And I, yeah, and Lush don't do any like marketing anymore. They don't do social media, anything. And this was when they did. And it was a very special thing that I've kept forever. And I'm gonna display this in my bathroom. And I'm gonna keep my bath bombs in here. And you know what? We should take a trip to Lush just so I can fill this up. I'm not really like a bath bomb person but for the sake of this being full for guests and for me to use when i'm feeling a bit rubbish i think we should but i'm gonna put this on the pile to go downstairs so i can clean it i should have really done that before i put it in the box but evidently didn't i actually think i'm making loads of progress though and i found loads of fun things like i found this biscuit tin from mott spencer's that my nephew opened and started eating he came upstairs and he was like emily please have one of your biscuits and it was all like sealed up and they, they were all like airtight and you can't say no can you. It's like, why not? Why would I be a party pooper? Have a shortbread. Have a house-shaped shortbread. It's, uh, you know, it's the little things, isn't it? Just found the envelope of sofa swatches. So I was actually looking on sofa.com last night, were we? I was talking to you about it. So this is the one that I was looking at, Miami, and I like it in the herringbone. But I don't know if it's a bit bright. Can you see? There's also like a navy like this. I might look at that as well, but I do want to go into store because they have like the bigger swatches. I just don't know how anyone's supposed to decide. Obviously, I'm really lucky that, you know, it's exciting. I get to choose the fabric color for my sofa that I'm gonna get. But at the same time, it's like, that's a, that's a big, big choice quite like this one the green i don't know my my living room's green so i can't really do green can i that's oh my goodness i'm covered in fluff but yeah that's kind of where i'm at with it i don't know what to do essentially so i do think we do need to go into the server.com showroom and just go and have a look because they have like a a wall of almost the fabric set up almost like curtains so you can just kind of swipe through them and see them yeah let me know how did you pick your sofa did you pick it based on the color of your room or did you like pick your sofa and then build your room around your sofa obviously i can't do that because my room's already painted but i do love the color of my room yeah i think maybe it means i have to stay away from green because the room is green so obviously i've moved out before but 
never really for like for good for good so there's certain things that i've bought this time with me that i have never taken before so this is my memorabilia box from when i was a baby and this picture used to be up in our house this is me at nursery and i have all my special th things in here so this was a special blanket from when i was younger this was my teddy can you guess what he was called oh it's gonna make me cry this is cody <laughs> and this is where Cody came from. Um, this is my bear, Betty. She's so broken apart that she has to wear a baby grow. And this is my doll, Sarah. Don't know why I love Sarah, really did. Um, the sound of her eyes is like really nostalgic for me, it's crazy. But when Betty became too um, broken to use, I put her in this box. A bit like a coffin, really, uh, with a picture of her on bit morbid but this is full of so many of my special memories and there's even more kind of in the bottom this is my sister and i at disney when we were younger oh look how cute i was oh my gosh it's our school yearbook what does this have oh, it has the most likely two things what did i get it definitely got something emily cannon most likely to marry a celebrity well there we go so sorry if anyone went to my school and you're going to be upset at me sharing this so i'm in this picture here on the school trip to disneyland paris uh oh my gosh that's me Wow. I don't even know who was on yearbook committee because, oh, I think I'm in this picture on this school trip as well. Hmm, I think I was there. <gasps> oh my gosh, me and Jasmine. Can you see? You guys have met Jasmine before briefly. It, she came to my Netflix event like two years ago. Oh my gosh, Ash is in that as well. So crazy looking back. Planking in Germany. Mm look at that how funny lots of like concert memorabilia oh i haven't seen that picture for years prom photos what's this england tickets justin bieber tickets radio one teen awards tickets i know you guys uh <laughs> all seen that teen awards video with me in <laughs> this is my sixth form id hilarious Hopefully it doesn't focus. <laughs> but now all of this belongs to me and I need to find a home for it. It's in this box at the moment, the box is a bit broken. So I think I'm going to invest in a new box for it. But for now, it will be fine. All of my special things live in here. Oh, it makes me really emotional. I feel like I had such a lucky, lucky upbringing and just so grateful to my parents for always making me feel so safe and so loved at home. I think half of the reason why I hated school so much was because I just felt so content and loved at home that why would I want to be in a place where I just feel like a total alien? Um, I feel really lucky. Really, really, really lucky. I think I've just one up myself. I've just found the box that my mum kept with all my kind of baby things and special things. These are all my school things. Oh my gosh, Emily Cannon's record of achievement, but it's empty. I didn't participate in anything. I'm not even joking. I get asked to do all sorts and I'd be like, no thanks. <laughs> now I'm all right. I want to go home at 3.50 and I don't want to blow that ball. What do we have here? Oh, my personal statement. My year 11 progress report, 10th of October 2012. Approach to learning was one in everything except PE. <laughs> oh, these are my A level results. Biology, chemistry, yeah, no, they're GCSE. I was gonna say. Oh my goodness, all my GCSE results. I got one C and it wound me up so much. My Duke of Edinburgh award. Yeah, that's literally about it. My school uniform. And you know what? It was actually a very comfortable school uniform because we had like shirts and jumpers. We didn't have blazers, so it was quite nice. I just found my school planners. This is so funny. What year is this from? Year eight. Wow, of course it says Jack Wills. Did anyone else used to put the Jack Wills handbook front cover in like their planners? That's what we used to do. Oh, my timetable. Wow, this is so nostalgic. We just used to sit there, science, and just draw on our planners. I want to see one from when I was older, but I don't know if I have one. Here we go, year 11. <laughs> I've got a quote in here. I can't, I can't show you that, I can't show you that. I'll let you, I'll let you uh, use your imagination. Let you use your imagination. What's this? Oh, oh this is about prom. <laughs> 
So, we were supposed to write homework, any notes home, like if we had any lesson changes, and it has like all the days of the week, well, Monday to Friday, and then notes at the bottom. So mine has my concerts I'm going to, One Direction on the 24th. Did anyone else go to One Direction on the 24th of February 2013? Because I was there also. <laughs> all my notes to send me home, 1.05 p.m. Emily has a migraine. I went home a lot. Oh look, here we go, the 15th. McFly, Lawson, I think this must have been um, Hyde Park. Gosh, mum's put everything in here. I've got my moulds from my braces. Because clearly I'm going to look at that so frequently. Well, we'll go through that another time because that is actually quite interesting. But for now, it's going to go in the eaves in my bedroom. Oh my goodness, I have made the most insane amount of progress. I stopped a bit of dinner, but look what I found. These are... I think pretty much all of my Disney is. I think the ones that I had in LA are in here. So I thought I'd show you some. So cute. Now look, I know not everyone's into this, but and everyone has their things, but this just brings me so much joy. These were a birthday or Christmas present. It's it's just so fun to go. And like each one of these has a memory. Like this was from Disneyland Paris at Christmas. And <laughs> These were from Disney World when I went on my trip. Like, how cute. I think I got these at Thanksgiving. I think these also were at Thanksgiving as well. On the night of Thanksgiving, uh, <laughs> we went to Disneyland, but went so late we didn't even go in. Uh, we just went into the gift shops. This one was from Disney World. The pearl fell off and I had to glue it back on and I carried the pearl home and managed not to lose it. I don't know how. Oh, there has to be more. There's definitely more than this. I think I have about 50 pairs. I have my coach pair. I actually, when I went on a trip once, I wore these and I got complimented in person so many times. Tell me they're not adorable. They're probably the least comfortable and they were so expensive. They're like 200 pounds, but I do love them. These are also very cute. So one of these is like the male version and one's supposed to be like the female version, I think, like Mickey and Minnie. Uh, but yeah, you know what? I have no duplicates, which is something I'm really proud of because I feel like that would be very easy to do. Like, look at these. These are insane. I feel like I'm due a Disney trip, but I want to go to um, Disneyland in California because obviously Disney World, last time I went, we had that insane experience where we stayed in the castle, which was just mad. And I just don't think I'm ever gonna be able to top staying in the freaking castle. So I'm actually in no rush to go back to Disney World. I mean, I would love to go on Flights of Passage, but do you know what I mean? Like to do a big, big Disney World trip. I'm like, I am so satisfied, I think for life. Obviously I will go back in my lifetime, but yeah, I feel very just in awe of it actually at the moment. It would like, you know, but I haven't been to Disneyland in California since last Thanksgiving and I obviously didn't go in. So yeah, that's what I'd like to do next. They have some of the best food at Disneyland in California and I've never really gone and done like a foodie day there. So I'd really like to do that. And then in the new year, I think I'm going to take Sophie to Disneyland Paris to go and stay in the newly refurbished Disneyland hotel, which will be magical. And I'm sure there'll be some exclusives <laughs> for that. Look, everyone has their things and I don't really collect many things. Like, no, I don't think I collect anything. I mean, I love my bags, but like, it's not like a collection because I'm not always on the lookout kind of thing. Whereas these, I do think, I would say this is the only thing I collect and I need to think of a way to display them. So if anyone has any ideas, because it's very sad that they will just live in a bag, uh, let me know and I do want to display them. Like maybe around like the top of one of the rooms or I don't know. Like I know it's ridiculous, but let me have my thing, okay? Oh my goodness. I've just come downstairs to tidy up the kitchen, get some water and kind of lock up, get ready for bed because I have made the most insane progress today. I will obviously show you but oh my goodness it's like half 11 I'm so tired and I can't believe the, the guest room is not empty but the gym is was not the plan but it, I guess that's just kind of how it's worked out so this is all of the cardboard from the boxes there is so many boxes I think that kind of gives you a bit of insight into what I've done and then out here we just have some kind of like filming lighting bits that I need to find a home for and then this is where it gets a bit crazy so everything is basically in here that needs a home or I don't know where to put it for now but obviously it'll be fine and as soon as 
you know, I've had all my wardrobes fitted and things, things will have homes and when I have my garden done I'll be able to get some storage to put like the hot tub in and things like that but for now it's all living in here which is fine. I've got, you know, just random things like bags of bags and all of that jazz and Nigel of course who I think is going to have to live in like the garden shed or something it, like for the rest of the year, not gonna lie. But this is what I've done. Oh my goodness, can you believe it? So I am having wardrobes fitted in here uh, at some point as soon as I get the date. So that's when this room will kind of come together, but I am gonna do a mirrored wall. I think probably mm, this one. It'll either be this one or this one in the end. But for now, I've got somewhere to put my laptop. I've got a little mirror, which would be better at height, but I'm gonna do much anyway is it but i need like a floor length mirror really so i can see what i'm doing and then yoga mat all of my equipment is in there it's all very temporary got my peloton my sauna blanket uh but yeah i mean i feel like for now it means that the room is functional i have no excuse but to exercise so well done me i've really set myself up there haven't i but i just love the color of this room i think it's absolutely gorgeous out here i just have all things to sort this is my clean linen i just don't have anywhere to put it and then i'm gonna go through that tomorrow which is my box of fan mail which is just honestly the craziest thing i can't wait to show you this clock is going in the guest room and just there's bits and bobs that i don't really know where to put again i've just got some bits that i need to sort out this is basically the contents of what was in my alex drawers in my mom's house so i need to unpack that and then i just have all of my perfumes down here again we will do that tomorrow and hopefully by the end of tomorrow this room will feel a lot more sorted there's only so much i can do with everything that's down there in the guest room but for now i cannot believe i have a functioning pilates room not really a gym is it but well there's peloton in there well i'm feeling insanely accomplished after today and feeling very prepped for tomorrow tomorrow i have to shoot i have a very exciting campaign that i'm shooting actually with YouTube so I'm shooting the remainder of that tomorrow and then I actually also need to go to Westfield and go to Boots because I don't know if you can see, but my sideburns are growing back in. And I don't like them. This has always been a topic of conversation on YouTube with me. I have always waxed off my sideburns. I think I always will. And I feel like they're never there. And then one day they just appear again. And I just simply don't like how they make my face look. I, I like it better when I don't have anything there. So... Yeah, I need to go and get some wax strips and boots so we can do that. It's also a Sunday tomorrow, so I have to get as much done as possible before midday because all the shops open at midday and I want to get out and shoot before everyone wakes up and is out and about and is in the way. <laughs> Not in the way. It's more that I'm in their way. I don't want to uh, disrupt people's Sundays. But the campaign that I'm shooting is really exciting. So it's um, going to be fun to have that finished off. And then I'll be able to sit and edit that tomorrow evening. And then housewise tomorrow. I'm just putting some of this cordley mask on top. Actually, I'm going to gua sha and then one mask. Yeah, housewise tomorrow. I need to get as much of the rubbish out as possible. I should probably do a tip run really. Although <sighs> I'm dreading. I, as much as I can, and I will, it kind of comes under the same thing for me as mowing the lawn. I can and I will, but I'd rather not. <laughs> But I will. And then I want to unpack the rest of my things in the dressing room tomorrow, like all my perfumes and everything like that. And if we have time, I would really like to have a bit of a closet clear out, but that might have to wait until Monday because I feel like now is just the perfect time to have that big clear out of all of my things. I thought I'd absolutely purged everything. And then I was putting those bags in there and I was like, nope, <laughs> there's definitely things I need to pass on. So I'm gonna try and be a bit more brutal about it, especially because once we fitted wardrobes go in I feel like it will be so easy for them to become an absolute black hole and I really don't want that to happen but for now I'm going to love you and leave you thank you so much for joining me today I hope you're excited for another weekend vlog tomorrow real life pretty much resumes on Monday so I want to get as much like housey stuff done actually real life resumes on Tuesday I'm still going to give myself Mondays to do housey things basically people are asking me that like, how have you found time to 
daily vlog, move and edit all the vlogs and all the TikToks and everything. Um, I have not been going to the gym <laughs> and I am so ready to get back in the gym. Like the time that I would have usually spent at the gym, I've spent editing or I've spent, you know, unboxing. And as much as it was completely necessary, the gym for me is something that makes me feel so balanced and so aligned and just ready to have that back in my life again. Mm. I'm gonna do some of this oil first. Ah, but yes, there is still so much to do. Housewise, I have my carpet runners being installed, not this week, coming the week after. And there's lots of things coming up I just need to get this part sorted and ticked off and then so much to come honestly i just think the rest of this year is going to absolutely fly i feel like it'll be one of those things that like before we know it it's christmas and i just really want to savor this so much like today the temperature has completely dropped like i opened one of my windows whilst i was unboxing and you know when you get that chill and i was like oh it's cold not mad but yeah i've had a very productive week i'm looking forward to getting on top of everything like filming wise tomorrow and then i can't wait to get back to normal life on monday going to the gym seeing my friends going out for dinner like i have not been doing any of that so real life i've also been so bad at replying to my friends texts i feel horrible just been so consumed but i feel like i'm finally getting there but yeah anyway i already said i'm going and then carried on chatting for like two and a half minutes so thank you so much for watching today's vlog i really hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a like and i'll see you bright and early in the morning. Good night.